Hello again everyone and welcome back. You might notice something a little bit different behind me. Uh, it's an idea that I've seen other people use. Um, and it's a good idea so I thought I would steal it. <laughs> but uh, it being just an ideas board or a plans board and on this particular wall <laughs> It's a little overwhelming at the moment, and it, yeah, it, it actually wraps around the back side. But this is stuff that I would like to get done here. Some of it is stuff that will actually get done here in this base. Some of it, like the different farms, may not necessarily be anywhere around here. Um, uh, before I do, what, what's up with the mouse here? Okay, that's weird. I'm just jumping around real bad. Uh, anyways, uh, before we get too far along, I think I, I thought I'd show you guys a little something, something, something that I found. I was poking around on that mist looking for slime chunks, and I was actually very surprised. Uh, just run down these stairs real quick. But the first two chunks here, uh, of where my branch mine is are actually slime chunks and so I've kind of got a very ghetto slime farm going right now the plan is eventually I want to I want to get a proper slime farm going and I know there is actually near spawn a location with six slime chunks immediately adjacent to each other so I thought that would be a pretty cool one. That is on my list. Um, that is actually up here on the board somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Massive slime farm in the six chunks near spawn. Well, it's nearer than this. Anyways, uh, in between episodes, I've done a little bit more work. I threw up another one of these guys. I've gotten started on the very top of the wall. Um... I haven't done a ton around here. Done some resource gathering because that's one of the big things you do a lot of. Uh, I did add a maintenance access back there because I kept running into problems with my smelter array. And I, I tried to make it so that when you look through the door, you don't see the nastiness that's back there. So, um, and the wall's coming along. Another one of the few little. Uh, things that I've added here uh, if I go inside I did finish this this is why I did the little get a slime farm I probably am not gonna use it much because I'm gonna have the other one but I made a map of the area and with the wall being gray on top of gray backdrop part of it's hard to see but through there there is where I've got the top on it um, but uh, I was looking at the map and then I went back into my old world because I was curious and this particular base is actually significantly larger than that including the Iron Titan on my old world it would have been on like these two pieces of map and then the rest of it was just wilderness except for my little rail one that I had uh, with this it's much much larger and one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a bunch of little houses around and I'm going to have villagers in here. But I'm also going to be building some houses out there. Uh, around the outside of it. And that's going to be where all the villagers that aren't worth a whole lot are going to go. Rather than do what most people will do, which is kill them. I'm just going to say it straight up. It, you're killing the villagers. No, no buttering that one up. Uh... On my to-do list, of course, is also, there's a nice little river there, and then, oh, I think it's over there, actually, yeah, over there, I'm going to be building a bridge across it and making some beautiful stuff, and I thought it'd be really nice to fill the river in. Uh, of course, also, fairly early, I may do this, this episode, actually. Now, I'm, I'm kind of torn up on what to do, I... Uh, it's nice having lots and lots and lots of options of stuff to do, but one of the things that I struggle with when I have too many options is instead of picking one, I like to shut down. 
and then I don't do any of it. And yeah, YouTube isn't very helpful because all the guys that I follow and gals, because false is a woman. And, uh, anyways, uh, they post a lot of videos during the day, which is my best time to record, uh, which makes it harder. Uh, I was actually, what was I going to do today? Oh yeah, I was originally thinking about decorating the inside of my castle here. Uh, I may put that off for another episode later on. I did finally uh, make a little nether portal to a swamp biome and got some vines and some lily pads. And with where the portal is, you come out of it and like less than 50 blocks from the portal is a witch hut. And I, I was thinking, oh, that's convenient. I don't have to hunt for a witch hut to do the farm. Because I'd like to get another one going, even though personally I probably really don't need it. Especially for what I'm doing here. There's no glowstone. Uh, and there's not going to be tons of redstone. Uh, and uh, if I go take a look here in my redstone chest. Uh, yeah, I really I don't need more particularly um, with the uh, with uh, the storage that I'm gonna have set up I've thought about using another one of those auto sorting systems but what I've found in the past from my own personal experience is that I don't really dump stuff in the chest that's supposed to sort everything I just kind of go to the chest because I kind of remember where everything is and just stick it in there uh so that's probably what i'm going to do here is just put down chests and i was going to build them up fairly high but instead of doing a little step to try and jump up and reach it i was gonna build a i'm thinking about what i'm going to do is build some stairs and then part way up do some slabs and have a little nice little walkway around um but before I do a whole awful lot on that, I'm going to want to bring stuff up here. And I, I, bet I keep kicking myself. I'm like, why am I running all over the place for a crafting table? I've got a bunch of them over there. All of that's going to be moved. Every bit of it. But, yeah, so I've made a few extra crafting tables. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, mute button doesn't actually work on this microphone, so. Unfortunately. I've tested it, it doesn't work. Uh, but, yeah, and, of course, lots and lots and lots of resource gathering. This is what I've got left in the stone brick currently, and I'm gonna need... Gonna need a lot more. I went and checked under the statistics, and I've already placed, like, 26,000 cobblestone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not done yet. So, uh, and of course, this isn't going to stay here either. That's moving uh, over there, actually, is where I was going to build Mumbo's tree farm. And I was going to use his original one, but then he came out with a new up updated version that I think will work a lot better. And it's a lot simpler. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to build here, but. Yeah, and then on other news, this probably I might not actually get much done this episode besides talking. Um, in other news, news not nudes, news. Um, the Hermitcraft three servers resetting, and I know that for me it's it is sad but for me i'm one of those people that kind of joined and started watching them very late in the game so by the time i joined even python gb was already a hermit and he joined really late so yeah so it's sad because it's a thing that I've been sitting down and watching everybody's episodes all the way up till now, and then they uh, they're doing that. So it, I'm up to speed on a lot of them, but I haven't finished them all. 
And oh, while well, I'm talking, why don't we go get started? I'm gonna need to trip our hooks too. But you're... are they in miscellaneous? No, they're in rest zone. Um. Anyways, it but and for me it's also a good thing because I will be able to follow it from the beginning. And one of the things that Asuma has said is that he would like to see people take the. My mouse is acting really weird. Uh. Anyways, uh, Asuma said he wanted to see people take the world download and do things like finish his base. I think I might take him up on it. I don't know if I'm ever going to hear back about it, but I think I'll take it on because I think that would be fun. I really do. And about half of that, turn those all into trap chests. And now for some fun. I was going to leave a gap here behind it. Do I want to leave a one or two? Hmm. Uh, I didn't put all my chests there. Uh, I could do uh, one wide gap. That should be acceptable. Because in the middle is where my actual bed is going to go. So... I don't know. I don't have enough of an audience to really ask questions, but I'm thinking what I might do, in addition to my regular episodes, is go ahead and do a little uh, a tribute series to them, where I go around and do things like finishing up all of the unfinished stuff. I don't know. I, I'd try my hand at it. I know other people are going to do similar stuff. But that's uh, a regular chest. Uh, so I don't know. We shall see how it goes. Uh, right about there. I'm gonna need more wood, obviously, but. Well, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more wood. It'll help once I start bringing materials up, which I think I'm gonna do off camera. Um, but I just thought I would share my thoughts on all of it. So, I think I'm going to cut here and I'll be back in a little while. And we're back. Hmm. Ah, there we go. That is what we've done today. So, as you can see over here, I have very clearly moved everything i even took my bed and the anvil it's all upstairs now uh if you're wondering about the enchanting table and all of this that's because i actually have a different location where that's gonna go and hang on let's turn the music down there we go that's a little better a little loud in my ears anyways back to what i was saying with the enchanting area I've got an idea. I was going to build a little library. So I'm, I'm going to at some point build a library here and put the enchanting area inside the library itself just because I think it would be interesting to do it that way instead of just slapping everything in one room. As for this chest, this is the wood and saplings from my tree farm here. So when I actually build the other one over there, It'll all be moved over there. Uh, before I end the episode here, I think I'm going to show everybody what I've been up to. And of course, there, I do have some stuff for display. Like, uh, I'll open it. Like, uh, this is all my first armor, iron armor that I had in this world. <clears throat> this is the first diamond pickaxe that I enchanted. And also, it is the first diamond pickaxe I had in this world. And I thought I would display that. Uh, I got some other ideas for some displays as well. Like, if anybody ever actually logs into this server, because it is a server, I was going to have a wall of visitors. Like, maybe over there. Because I do have that on here. I, there's just no M's to P. 
It is an SMP. But anyways, and nothing much. I don't actually recall having an area set up for potion brewing. So I kind of threw that there for now. For now, I've got my anvil right here because this is probably where I'm going to use it most often. Near to my armor stuff. But this is kind of the idea I had. Have a little elevated platform to reach the top ones. Now, right now, technically, yes, I can reach that top chest from here. But I'd like to be able to stack the chests up higher if I can. And so this makes it a little nicer, like... Maybe put a chest there, and maybe one more higher. If I got two, if I got uh, several chests higher, I may wrap it back around and go up another layer with the elevated platform. But anyways, so I, I did not originally intend this, but it kind of worked out that way, and so I kept going. On this side, I've got all the different building blocks that I've collected so far in the game. Uh, on this side. And stuff like all your cobble and stuff. The surprising thing is, you would expect this to be the most quantity item in the game. Yeah, that's all the cobblestone I have left. That's how much I've been using it. But yeah, stone, slabs. Slabs and stairs, man. Slabs and stairs. And then on this side is the non-building block stuff that you tend to gather. Now, I know technically you build with redstone, but it, it, you, you do, but you don't. Depends. Are you using it as a decoration material? I bet I got all the food and doors. I still have leftover doors from the Iron Titan. All my armors, arrows, and a uh, chest full of enchanting stuff. This chest may end up moving into the new library area. And, of course, to move my bed, and yes, I did set my spawn, so... I'll spawn here instead of on the roof of the Iron Titan. Theoretically. And wander back out here. I think for my next episode, I'm going to... Well, I don't know. Should I, should I do that or that? I was to toss up right now between doing some interior or the Great Hall, because I've got I've got a few ideas, and I'd like to get started putting things on display. But I also would really like to go ahead and get this tree farm out of the way too, because I'm gonna need a lot of wood. The uh, the wood supply is looking a little thin, but. Anyways, I think this is what I'm going to do here, if I can find it, ah, there it is. I think I can safely remove that place for the bed. I kind of don't have it that set up just yet. Uh, as you saw earlier, it's basically just sitting in the middle of the floor, so I'm going to leave that for now. Um, well, that's really all I've done so far. Hmm. And of course, I got little signs all over the place designating what goes where. I don't know if I ever showed this, but I did add a side room for the. on the side of my little smelter thing. And it's nothing fancy, just uh, minecart tracks. Uh, if you'd been following me, you would have seen that. I built it in one of the earliest episodes. Uh, anyways, I went and added this. Uh, well, it, it would be the blacksmith's workshop, theoretically, and then this is the forge. So. Uh, hmm. Can't really think of anything else to say right now, but I think that will do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like, and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe, too. Also, if you... It would be nice to get some feedback because I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm new at this. I'll admit it. I know uh, that I'm not terribly great, but with time, I'm hoping to get better. And with you guys' help, it should uh, help me get help me out even more. Hey, English, sprechen. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that'll do for now, and I'll see you in the next episode.